Hello my friends and welcome back to Create. So in this episode, I really want to do myself a cobblestone generator. I don't want it up there though. Where I live, I kind of want to space them out a bit. So what I'm going to do is this little area here behind me, I have dug out quite significantly. And I think I want to turn it into some kind of mining area and put an automatic cobble generator inside there but beware guys this episode could get a little bit messy <laughs> so first things first i need to find an area where i want to put it and i kind of want to put it quite near the front so we are going to dig out this little bit here and i'm going to go back inside the actual mountain because i want one, two, three. Let me just cut this out. And what I want is one, two, three, four, five for my cutting area. And I'm also going to need a little bit extra by the sides. So I'm going to cut another two out by the sides. I'm going to lift this ceiling by at least one. And I'm going to make a bit of a space to put this whole generator thing into. I think that might be just about it. So what I want to do, what my plans are, to get a basic cobble generator in here. The walls, I kind of want to stay as they are, but I want to add detailing to the walls. And I do know the basics of setting a cobble generator up. It is basically water and lava with a block gap in between. And I'm going to need five drills. So let's get back to the top. Let's go and get these things that we need. Oh yeah, I've also expanded my uh, little storage area right here. Right, so we're going to come in here. In fact, I'm going to go in my backpack first because I'm going to need the windmill sails for power. I'm going to take my glue just in case. And let me have a little look at. We do need drills. We have three. Well, I think we're going to need a little bit more than three. So drills. We want two more drills. So that is alloy ingots and andesite casing alloy ingots and andesite casing like so let's get these two drills made up there's two so that will give us the five drills that we need I'm also going to need a lava bucket and five water buckets. So we have one lava bucket right there. We have one water. That's three. And two more, four, five. Let's go and get some water. Three, four. I also want my belts. I want my shafts. What have I done with my shafts, people? That's all right. We'll just make a couple of those right here, right now. That'll do me for the time being. And let's head on back over. So, for this, this is going to be a temporary measure, people. Just let me get this on because I need something for my belt area to sit on top of so if we can do something like this for the time being i do want like a dirty gravelette floor and i might take that up into the walls also obviously dependent on how i feel i suppose right so the middle part is going to be right there and that is going to be, just let me get me bearings, people. Noob here, noob here. Right, so the middle is here. 
And what I want to do is take out my shafts. I don't actually... Oh, I do have belts. Right, that's fine. Shaft, I want there. So it's one, two, five, and there. You know what? I might actually be doing this pretty much wrong. No. Right there, dude. Right, can you can you turn the way I want you to, dude? Right, just let's forget that for the time being. I am learning, people. I don't even know if this is going to work. Right, so. And I have totally blown that already because it needs to be a block downwards. So we're going to go down there with that. I am going to turn it like that. We're going to get rid of that. And I'm going to do the same on the other end. Like that. Now I think I can remove this. Might be too long. It might not be. Who knows. But first things first. Let's get this belt going from there to there. And on... The, I don't think it matters whether it's the front or the back side, does it really? But I do like to make myself a little bit of space because I don't seem to have any right now. Let me see. Where are my drills? So we have the drills here. I am just going to put this on. One, two, three, four. Hello, mouse. The mouse has been set loose, people. The mouse has been set loose. So I'm going to leave two gap there. Two gap there. So that should be one, two, three, four, five. Drills. One, two, three, four, and five drills. And then opposite, I'm going to do the same with the blocks. Now I've only tried this in create. Uh, in my create world. One, two, three, four, five. Ah. Here's where we're hitting a bit of an issue. Can I take that out? And I'm going to take this out because I can't get in, guys. It's not good if I can't get in. Right, so there, I think I want glass eventually to go across like this top area so one two three four and five right there so this is actually going to hold me water and the water is just going to come straight out unless i block it in i can pretty it up but let me show you like my main principle of what i'm going to do now i'm putting the stairs this way around I'm aware that other people put them the other way around, but I'm going to put them this way around. Because this is the way I do my design. So that is there, like so. That is there. I want my lava bucket. Just above... Where the drills are. So I'm going to have to block round the back off. Like that. So if I get my lava bucket out. And put my lava. In the middle up there. That will all turn into stone. So will that if I don't cover it up. But you can see in there we have our stone. Right, that's fine. I can just like totally demolish this wall, peeps. So we have an entrance area and this is just sitting right in there 
Right, so as far as power goes, let me see what I want to do. First things first, I want to make sure I've got a little area up here. Because we are going to do some form of a windmill. So that will go there. We want some kind of gearbox going there. We're going to come up here. And we're going to come out and we're going to go and play naked in the rain. Because is that not what we do? I do want to see how far this goes up though. Uh, I don't really want to be putting shafts down there either, pet. So let's take ourselves out of here. Right, so this is where I want my windmill. So let's go and get the bearing. Let's go and get the stuff to go with the windmill. So I have my windmill bearing that I am going to put there. Let me just get rid of this because it will make it a little bit easier when it comes to setting the shaft up. I won't have to dig up so high, friends. So, windmill bearing right there. Definitely. I want to add my linear chassis like this. Do I have to glue that onto there, though? Hold up, friends. No, I don't. Well, that was a waste of bloody time, weren't it? One, two. Bit of help here. Blocks. Three and four. In fact, let me get rid of them. I'll tell you exactly what I want to do. I'm going to take these blocks. I know. But all I have to do is glue them together. And four. Do I go up one more? Let's go up one more, guys. Right, right there. And then what we're going to do is glue all these sides all the way up. I'm going to take my windmill sails. One, two, three, four, five. Like that. I'm going to do... Yes, I've got enough. So I wanted to make sure we had enough to do all sides, guys. Like that. And this will power, hopefully, my cobblestone generator. I am using belts, and belts can get rather laggy. So that's the reason I don't want it too close to my home. Besides, I've got plans for this area anyway. Right, take my glue. I want to glue all them onto there. And then I want to glue all these onto there and the same again for the other two sides and I'm hoping this is going to work right so I'm assuming that's going to work we'll get rid of that let me empty my hand and let's just have a little look no, update the bearing. Don't glue it. Right, so there is my windmill. Now we're going to head back down underneath. Ouch. We're going to come this away. We're going to get rid of all this rubbish here. And obviously, I can't dig up high enough. There we go. Now, I want to bring this down with my shafts. So, I'll take my shafts. And I still can't reach. Take my shafts. And bring them right down. To here.
we are going to need a gearbox, which I do have. Right, now this is coming this away. So that'll give me a bit of an indication onto where I actually want my inputs and my outputs. Do I have glass? Yes, I do have glass. Let's just move these. I did say it might get messy, so let's just live up to that expectation, shall we? Right about there. Right, so we can actually see that right now. On here, I am thinking I want a barrel of sorts. Do I have a barrel? I need a barrel and I need a couple of funnels. Mm. So, a couple of barrels. Five is more than enough. And what about funnels? We want the brass funnels. So it's a brass electron tube, polished rose quartz. Uh, polished rose quartz. That is going to be redstone. And quartz. Now we do have quartz, guys. Let's go and see. Quartz in here. Quartz for the win. There we go. So we're going to make that up. We're going to make at least a couple of pieces. In fact, I, I think I only need one, don't I? Now we need sandpaper. Which is going to mean sand. And a piece of paper. I'm not even sure if I've got sand, guys. Hmm. So we got sand, but then again, I've also found the sandpaper. Right, so we want rose quartz, polished rose quartz, sandpaper in hand, like so. Do that, do that. So that is for that. We need one iron sheet. Please tell me I have one in hand. No, I don't. So we're just going to head on over here. Head on up to the top. In fact, we're not because I've got some in here somewhere. Sheets. Thank you. Much let. You can go back in there. Thanks for your time and consideration. Funnels. One dried kelp and a brass ingot. Brass ingot. Dried kelp which I do have because I've just bloody seen them. Oh, guys, who's pinched me dried kelp? Back to searching. But when you have them in your inventory all along. Mm. Right, so that's that part of it done. I'm missing my electron tube. Of course I am. Not anymore. One of them. There we go. So we have our brass funnels. Let me get rid of them out of here. Back over we go. First things first, I am going to add power to this. Let's add a shaft. Let's add my gearboxes. And I think I don't actually want to do that. If I do that, I don't want them vertical. Hold on, guys. I think I've put the wrong ones on. Right, so normal gearbox. Right, so they're not going right. Right, that one is. That one is. Let's head round the other way. We can already hear it working. I can't get in. 
Let me in. Right, it can wait just a second. Because I need to change these over. To normal gearboxes. Oh, what a palaver, guys. What a bloody palaver. Right, so I want normal gearboxes. No, I want three. I want these on the bottom gearboxes. And then I want these other ones as normal gearboxes. So that's four. So if I can do that, get my shafts back. And get my power re-rolling. That one isn't working. Right, now it is. I can get a controller on also. But why is that drill not working, dude? Right, right, right. Now I have to get my belt working. Right, so the belt's working. Ah. This could be a bit of a bloody issue, peeps. So now we have this. I've actually just put myself another gearbox up there, removed the shaft from there, and put my shaft there instead. Now you can see it's all working. We are getting cobblestone somewhat slowly. But nothing that a speed controller cannot handle. So, that will be going to there. This will be going right there. I'm going to make a mess because I want the funnel right there to collect it all. Ugh. Ugh. Friends, where is my stone no we don't want to I want that one piece of granite just to close the hole up we've got a leak guys we've got a leak we've still got a leak guys there we go right so now all that cobble should be going into there hopefully but I can't see anything, friends. Can't see a thing. There we go. So it will be coming down through there, as you can see. And straight in the barrel. But I've took that out, so there you go. There we go. It's all going in the barrel. So it's slow, but it works. And I did it somewhat around the house is like. I think we need to get this place pretty up a bit before we say goodbye, don't you? I've got dirt and gravel in hand. I think I'm heading over here for the dirt. I don't want carved dirt. I want more of a trodden dirt. Mm. Cracked flat dirt tiles. I'm not too sure. Massive dirt bricks. Oh, what about the rough dirt? Let's try some of that. And then for the gravel, I kind of want a dirty gravel. So we're going to try with those two. And what I might do is go back onto here, take this, Give myself another texture. Uh, which one, guys? Which one? We don't want smooth dirt. How's about something a bit more? We already got that one. I think we have. No, we haven't. There's the trodden, and then for the gravel, let's 
do more of a... No, not orange, guys. Not orange. Will orange work? Let's try that. So we've got that. I'm also going to need a couple of the old hanging lanterns, I think. So for them, we want that. We want a couple of torches also. I think I've got a couple of torches. Yes, I have. Right, so let's do that. Let's make these. So that will give us four lanterns. And I'm just going to grab a few bits and bats and I'll see you back over there. Let's get some decorating done. So I've got all my dirt blocks right here. I want these going around where it's probably going to get seared by lava. Maybe, maybe not. Who knows? Let's get a bit of the trodden dirt in. Like round about here. Let's take a bit of rough dirt like that. And let's jump up onto the belt because oh we don't want them yet, dude. We don't want them yet. Someone's, like, uh, erasing themselves, people. Erasing themselves. Right. We have dirty gravel. Round about there. We do have a seeable stone there. Let's get rid of that. A bit of dirty gravel. Do I have... I thought I had another one. No? Oh yes, we do have a couple of slabs. But I don't want to put them there just yet. Let's put in more orange gravel and a bit more dirty gravel there and there and possibly there. Yeah, gravel falls, pet. Gravel falls. Well, I didn't actually want the gravel up there. I want these. So, a bit of a slabby ceiling. And I'm going to have to go and get some more slabs, I do feel. So, we can get all this area slabbed off. just not there because my mouse is set itself loose and it's been a bit of a total tyrant today I do believe so maybe if we take a few bits of that out and maybe there right so that's not going to work I was kind of hoping I'd be able to get the dirt layers up there also. But back to the drawing board. In we go. Like that. I am going to need to be able to reach above there. Or we could just do that. And just hide it, friends. Let's just hide it. If in doubt, just hide the lock. Because that works also. And then we can have something a little bit more random. Like that. And then we're going to put the andesite casing over this to hide this. And there. And there, and I'm just going to put one there. So that is that. Couple of textures. 
like so. A bit of a slab going there and going there. I'm going to keep the uh, walls as they are and I'm just going to put a lantern there. Let's take that lantern back because I kind of want it higher up. Right, so we'll have a lantern there, and we will have a lantern there. So yes, friends, it probably still needs a little bit of work done to it, like all these textures of stone coming out. Let's see what I can do. And I think that looks pretty much okay. I've just brought the walls in a bit. Just mixed the textures up with trodden granite, rough dirt, and a bit of sanded cobblestone. I don't think that looks good there. So I'm going to replace that with sanded cobble. That can be trodden. And this one here, I think I'm going to bring that one out also, and probably that one. So that is what we've got guys my little cobblestone generator and it has collected enough for me let's just say enough for me it is slow it is steady yeah very slow paced hopefully it will win the race guys it will <laughs> anyway friends that brings us to the end of an episode i hope you have enjoyed it and if you have you know what to do don't forget to hit like subscribe take care thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye